<laughs> if you're new here, my name is Christy and welcome to another Christopher Good Tuesday. If you haven't seen my last video, I was a video where I got my dog Blaze. Sometimes I take him in the car really early in the morning and he's really cold and he shivers. So I wanted to make him a little doggy jacket. He's growing really, really fast. And I didn't see the point in spending like $40 on a jacket that he's gonna grow out of by next year, so. I tried to search up some YouTube videos. They were all kind of really complicated. I found this one website that had like a template. I'll put it here. I, so I did this and I made my own template yesterday. So this is the final template that I made last night that I like custom made for Blaze. This goes around his body and then it's just a little thing on him. I don't know if this will work. I took home Mac for a semester in grade 10 and then dropped it. And I don't actually have a sewing machine, so this is all going to be hand sewing. Let's go. I don't know how this is going to work, but I have some old clothes that I found for fabric because I don't want to go buy fabric. And I only need a little bit. He's a tiny, he's a tiny body. Grr, grr, grr. So I found this random old t-shirt. This is gonna be the inside of the jacket. And then I found this, it's not denim, it's like a really thin material that kind of looks like denim. This is gonna be the outside of the jacket. Here's the plan. So I'm going to get the back of this, cut this out into the shape of this with room for a seam, and then cut that one out, put the two pieces together, add some Velcro, and hopefully that works. I don't, I don't really know. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this shirt in half so that I have just a flat piece of fabric. So I've made this shirt into one big piece of fabric and I think I'm just gonna use the back here because the front's got a little pattern on it. <laughs> you see him chewing my pillow in the corner. Okay, so I traced this pattern onto here. So now it looks like this and then I'm going to cut this and make sure I leave like a little bit of space so that you can sew it together. He's just ripping everything apart here. It's a good thing his teeth doesn't really work yet because otherwise everything would be in shreds. I promise that not every video is going to be a dog video. I'm just so excited about having a dog. You guys don't understand. Like this has literally been my dream for so long. I'm willing to literally spend hours here making a jacket for you. You better appreciate this, huh? Better appreciate this. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so chunky now. I did it. I did it. Okay. Here is our little thing, little backing piece. Left a little room to sew. Okay, let's try this on him. Just this piece and see how that goes. Come here, buddy. Okay, if this all goes to plan, this is how it's going to work. This part is going, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, technically it only goes till here. Oh, he's so fluffy that he looks like he's really fat. And then you hold it. He is so small. You are so fluffy. Anyway, this piece I think is a success. We're going to transfer this over to the denim piece so that we have a top for it. And um, I don't know what the best way to do this is. Maybe I should pin it. I should probably pin it, shouldn't I? Let me go get some pins. Okay, I swear to God, I left for two seconds to look for pins, which I couldn't even find. And he peed and pooed both all over my bed. I knew this was gonna happen, it's my fault, but like, Bubby, come on, why? Why would you do this to me? You peed and pooed all over my bed. It's okay, it's not your fault, I'm sorry. I literally tried to get him to pee though, like two minutes before he did that. Oh, I'm so done, I gotta go change my sheets, I'll be right back. Can you see that? Sorry, I didn't mean to show you it, but. Intermission, while I go clean some pee and poop. Yay. 20 minutes later. That was my fault, honestly. He's literally too young to control his bladder. I like these sheets better anyway. You know, they make my room look less white and more warm. That's what we were doing, what were we doing? Oh, jacket, yes, okay. Is this a bad idea to let him back on my bed again? You're probably gonna hear him barking for a while because I'm not letting him inside the room, but he'll sleep soon, he'll, he'll fall asleep. I couldn't find any pins, oh my God. After all of that, I couldn't find any pins. So, I'm just going to trace over this and do the same thing, pretty much. I was going to pin this to this and then cut it out, but I'm just going to trace the same pattern over this piece of fabric and then sew the two together. Let's go. How are you guys all going? What have you guys been up to? Look at how pretty my room looks here. What you don't see is that it's an absolute mess behind over there. Let's just trace this thing. Blaze loves playing with my strings. Any strings, like hoodie strings, shoelaces this of my jeans and this was not this broken before blaze and he has destroyed it this one is hanging by a thread like literally a single thread and it's the only one left very sad 
lays me out here destroying my jeans but it's fine i literally cut these myself to begin with so it's fine i cannot wait for blaze to be old enough for me to take him on walks that is going to be so fun like that's what i'm looking forward to the most okay yay we've got this and we've got this and then let's see if we can join them together i've put the back and back of the fabrics together Together, and I'm going to sew along the the black line and hopefully when I turn it inside out it's gonna look good I don't actually know how this is gonna go. I'm just hoping. I can't believe I'm hand sewing this Do I know anyone with a sewing machine? Maybe I can like go to their house and borrow their sewing machine. This is gonna take so long. Look at that Terrible stitching. It's so bad. This looks like it doesn't match up, but it matches up on this side So it's fine, but it's so bad. Like, if I pull this, I'm pretty sure this isn't even the stitching that you're supposed to use. I don't know how to sew. Ow. I knew that was going to happen. Ow. Okay, I only stitched, like, half of this, but I want to turn it over just to see how it looks. Oh. <laughs> it's so shit. It's lousy stitching. That's the word for it. Look at <laughs> It's so bad. I don't even want to show this on camera. I'm kind of so embarrassed of this because I'm making such big stitches because I can't be fucked sitting here making tiny little stitches all the way around. It's like fine if you look at it like this. Like, okay, yeah. Like, oh, that looks good, you know? But then if you like stretch it even a little bit and look up close, do you see this? It is so bad. Oh, my god, what the fuck is going on here? It's kind of cute. It's like a little shark. <gasps> oh my god, it's literally like two hours later. <sighs> okay, so I put the Velcros on and then I stitched the whole thing around and then I flipped it inside out and then I finished stitching it. Basically, I have this and it <laughs> looks like shit. It is so bad oh my god the velcro is like barely hanging on by a thread literally this looks so ugly it always looks like a bib honestly but i hope this fits him oh but what i didn't realize was that it's reversible so you can have either blue going this way or you can have white going this way and i didn't mean for that to happen i only meant for the blue to be on the outside but that's kind of cool okay we're gonna bring blaze over he's been sleeping and see if he actually fits this and if he hates it because I kind of do. It's so ugly. I need a sewing machine. Okay, let's see if this actually fits. This is the moment of truth here. Oh my gosh, you're gonna back yourself off the table. Oh, okay. That fits around his neck. I didn't expect that. Oh, wait, it actually fits. Oh my gosh, it fits you. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at you. That just made everything worth it. Look at him. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, but look. He has no thoughts about it. Like, he doesn't hate it. He's just, he just wants to go play. And sleep. Oh my goodness, buddy. You got a new jacket. I can't believe it actually fits him. Buddy. Okay, that made everything worth it. I was actually so done because this took me like three hours. But it's all worth it because look at him. He's like a little denim burrito. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, well, yeah, here's the final product. Look at him. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now when we go drop off my sister early in the morning and I bring him along, he won't be cold. I honestly might take out the whole stitching and redo it with a sewing machine when I get one. But for now, it's serving its purpose and I'm so happy with it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up for Blaze. And I'll see you guys next week for another Christopher Good Tuesday. Bye!